Have you ever heard of the 1% rule? It's the principle that altering just a fraction of your habits 1% can lead to monumental shifts of your overall quality of life. These small adjustments can create a ripple effect of positive change. If you're intrigued, or if you like the idea of achieving more, being more, and living more, then just apply these small tweaks that we're about to go over. And number one is don't hit that snooze button. Look, we've all been there, feeling the temptation to hit the snooze button for just a few more minutes of precious sleep. But what if those extra moments of shut eye are actually doing more harm than good? When you go back to sleep after hitting the snooze button, you're gonna enter a new sleep cycle that you don't have the time to complete. So it actually disrupts your sleep cycle. And waking up during the middle of a sleep cycle can leave you feeling even groggier and more tired than if you had just gotten up when the alarm went off in the first place. And constantly hitting the snooze button might make you associate your alarm with annoyance, with stress, and that's not how you want to start your day. Here's what I recommend. Set your alarm for when you're actually supposed to wake up. Don't be that guy with six alarms leading up to the time that you need to be up by. Once your alarm goes off, it's time to get up. You can also leave your phone far away from the bed so you still hear the alarm, but you have to get up to stop it. Then whatever you do, don't go back into bed. This is how your day starts, so don't let it be your first failure. Next, you need to be curious and you need to ask questions. Being curious and asking questions are fundamental aspects of human nature and critical for personal growth, learning, problem solving, innovation. Curiosity drives us to seek out new information and experiences. Asking questions are going to help us understand the world around us, learn from others, and expand our knowledge base. And from personal experience, curiosity actually leads to unexpected opportunities. By asking questions and exploring different paths, we can actually stumble upon new business opportunities, hobbies, and new friendships. Besides that, it shows interest in others and pushes for deeper connections, which means you're gonna make more friends and probably better friends who you connect with on a much deeper level. So from now on, remember to stay curious and be consistent with your workouts for two months. Look, it takes a while for you to develop a new habit, 66 days according to research. So your goal should be to be consistent for those two months. And if you can do that, it will become a part of your life, a part of your routine. I could sit here and talk all day about the benefits of exercising, but I won't. I'm gonna give you the quick overview. It releases endorphins, which are feel good, hormones. Consistent workouts can also help reduce stress, anxiety, symptoms of depression, and of course, leading to an overall improvement in mood and mental well-being. And that's just the mental part. Physically, you're going to look better, feel better, lean out, gain muscle mass, have more energy, and the list goes on and on. That's why I take it so seriously. I work out five to six times a week, and I absolutely love the way it makes me feel. And one thing that helps me stay consistent and track all of my workouts is my Whoop fitness track. And if you're serious about your workouts, if you want the best results, I can't recommend this device enough. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it every single day without fail since September of 2020. That's three years now. It's a part of my body. Whoop is today's video sponsor. And that means you can actually click the link in the description and get the device itself for free with that link below. Now it tells me how many calories I'm burning every day, the exact time that I fell asleep and woke up, how many times I woke up at night, which if you think about it is great to know because if you're feeling tired every day and then you realize that you've been getting horrible sleep every night by looking at your sleep data then you know how to stop being tired just put your phone on silent close the blinds all the way wear a sleeping mask and the best part about whoop is that i don't have to do anything it picks up everything by itself i'll go play soccer and it will literally know by my heart rate and other patterns which sport i'm playing it's crazy i even have my own personal team the alex costa team with almost 1000 of you guys there and when you have a friendly competition who's working out the most who's getting more sleep better sleep. It's just fun to see what you guys are up to. And like I said, if you use the link below, get your Whoop for free as well as the first month free, which is a great deal. And on top of that, they actually just reduced their prices, which I've never seen anyone do. If you look at Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, they're all going up. Whoop actually went down in price, which I really appreciate as a customer and as a fan. Just use the team code below to join my team. We'll compare stats. It's the first link in the description below. Don't be afraid to try new things. Being afraid to try new things can hold you back from from personal growth, from learning, and from experiencing all good things that life has to offer. Trying new things challenges you to step outside of your comfort zone. New experiences also usually involve acquiring new skills and knowledge. Trying something new lets you expand your skill set and become more adaptable, more well-rounded. And remember that it's okay to feel a little stressed out, apprehensive maybe when trying something new, but don't let it stop you from taking that leap. Approach new experiences with an open mind, willingness to learn, and the understanding that growth often happens 
things outside of your comfort zone. Because if you're comfortable, you're not really growing. You're not trying something different. You also have to declutter your environment because a cluttered environment can lead to feelings of being overwhelmed, right? It can stress out, it can lead to anxiety. I know myself, if my stuff is messy, if my place is messy, it's just, I'm distracted, right? So when it's decluttered, when it's organized, it minimizes distractions and allows you to focus on what you need to get done. Now, I don't do well in messy spaces. I get distracted, so I keep my place organized at all times. I'm also one of those people that if I know someone is coming over, my place will be spotless. I take pride in my apartment, my space being clean and organized. And I honestly believe that a tidy and aesthetically pleasing space can actually have a really nice positive impact on your mood and your overall well-being. This next one is really important and it actually took me a while to learn this. Be intentional with your time. What does that mean? Well, it means making conscious and purposeful choices about how you spend each moment of your day. So if you're working out, for example, don't be on your phone the entire time. Be intentional. You're in the gym for a reason and it's not to text, it's workout. Focus on your workout, get it done and leave. Your workout will be better, you'll be done quicker and you're gonna see faster and better results. It's a huge difference. And the same goes for when you're talking to someone. Give them your full attention. When you're intentional about spending time with friends and loved ones, your interactions become more meaningful. When you're intentional, you're more likely to plan your activities to write to-do lists and to manage your time better. This leads to more efficiency because you're working with purpose and direction, so you're likely to achieve more in less time, like the gym example that I gave you. So next time you're having a chat with someone but really not paying attention or working out but really on your phone, remember to be intentional. Cut your TV time. I like watching shows and movies as a creative. I even love seeing the new tech being used, new angles, new shots, and of course, the story. But I barely watch TV because I know that I could be learning a new skill. I could be seeing my friends or I could be pushing my businesses forward. And I just like those things way better than I like watching TV. So it makes it tough to justify spending time on Netflix because I know that less time spending watching TV means more time available for productive activities like learning new skills, pursuing hobbies, exercising or working on personal or professional projects. Now lately, my hobby has been the guitar. I'm really trying to get good. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. And if you need hairstyle suggestions for a new haircut to look your best, check out this video right here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the link below to get your free Whoop fitness tracker. And I'll see you in the next video.